Hey, uh, welcome to another edition of Straight Out of the Tube. Got some things to talk about today. I've been talking a lot about uh, these 20 minute paintings and one of the greatest things I did for my career and for my painting in my painting career was took the advice of someone, I don't even remember where it was, but they told me to do 100 20 minute paintings. And if you did 100 20 minute paintings in a year, you would have advanced so far in your art career, you would be amazed. So I did 100 paintings in approximately four and a half months. So I do sometimes two a day, sometimes three a day, then I wouldn't do a day, then I had a day, then I didn't do a day. And I just kept doing 20 minute paintings and I did 100 of them. And at the end of it, I was absolutely astounded at how my color mixing and how my paint lay and how Honestly, the best, probably best thing that came out of the whole thing for me really was the confidence that I had in being able to hit the palette and do things. My confidence boost was huge. I was no longer <clears throat> my brain down on the palette thinking. My brain was up on the canvas thinking and my immediate actions were just uh, all sort of, uh, uh, just they just came to me while I was on the palette. I was so used to doing it, it was instinctive. Everything on the palette was instinctive. The creativity was now up on the canvas. It was a wonderful thing to do. So. I just thought I'd take this a little further and talk about 20 minute paintings. Um, and, and let me step back for one second and say, uh, when I talk about 20 minute paintings and, and doing this, this is, this is I, I liken this to going to the gym. Uh, the hardest thing about painting isn't the painting. That's the easy part. Once you're painting, it's fantastic and everybody wants to paint and we enjoy it and I love painting. The hardest part is getting in the studio to paint. It's like going to the gym. When you're at the gym, you'll work out. And when you're done your workout, you always go, oh, that actually felt good, I like that. I'm glad I went to the gym today. But getting to the gym, that's the hard thing. Getting your gear in the bag, getting in the car, driving to the gym, ugh, nobody wants to do that. It's hard to get, uh, get life out of your way and get all the shit that is in your life out of the way so you can get down in the studio and paint. So I'm gonna talk a little and address a little bit of that and what it means to do a 20 minute paint. So, when I talk about a 20 minute painting, I am talking about 20 minutes worth of painting and getting a six by eight, eight by 10 done within the 20 minutes that you're given. Okay, but here's the thing. To be able to do that, you've got to set yourself up for success. So it means you need a place to paint that's set up and ready to go. So uh, if you're a kitchen painter, it's gonna be pretty tough to do. But if you can find and make space in your, in your place and where you are, that is a guaranteed space so that things are set up and ready to go to paint, you're gonna paint. It's gonna be much easier. There's nothing worse than having to clear off the whole desk and, and get the laundry out of the way and move, oh, I'm gonna do some painting today, and oh, it's four o'clock, I gotta get supper ready, I gotta put all my painting stuff away, right? If you're gonna do that, that's fine if you're what I call a kitchen painter, nothing wrong with that. But if you're gonna do 20 minute paintings, you need to be set up. So the deal behind the 20 minute paintings is, you need to have a select bunch of photos up, ready to go that you've chosen that may be things that you'd like to paint. I'm not saying you have to paint them each in a row and this one and then this one and this one. I'm saying get yourself 40, 50 pictures that you may like to paint over the next little while that are all in a stack ready to go so you're not flipping through everything all the time looking for the next best thing. You've got 40 things that are paint worthy and ready to go. So that's your first thing. Uh, down beneath me, if you hand me that box right there, just so you see, this tub, that's all paint, that's all photographs that are in there. Everything in there is a photo that's worthy of painting and will be painted at some point. So I can stick my hand in there and away I go. Now I don't even use that anymore because all my photos are on my phone and my phone plugs into my monitor and I paint off my monitor. So anyways, I still have photos that if uh, the apocalypse comes, and there's no more computers, I'm ready to go. I got 7,000 photos sitting in there. But most of the time now, I'm gonna be on my, uh, I'm gonna be on my monitor painting. So, here's the procedure. I've got photos picked out. I have my places set up and ready to go. Which means I have my palette down here is set up and good to go, meaning I've already put my colors out. My 20 minutes doesn't include picking a photo. My 20 minutes does not include putting my colors out and my palette ready to go. My 20 minute minutes doesn't mean I've got my little Volker special easel that I use for my big easel to put the little mini canvas on because I'm going to do six by eight tonight. So uh, I, I got that ready to go, the mini Volker easel with my canvas, 
with my drawing already on it. Those are not part of the 20 minutes. Those are a little longer. And now I hear you all saying, well, you said 20 minutes, but that's already more than 20 minutes. I'm like, yeah, okay. I'm talking about just 20 minutes of dedicated time to the brain and painting. This other 20 minutes that I took to set all this other stuff up, that's external. Doesn't count as a 20 minutes. So yes, 40 minutes. Allot yourself 40 minutes. You should be able to do this once or twice a week. 40 minutes is what I'm talking about. And you're gonna dedicate 20 minutes to painting. And if you do that, I guarantee you, you're gonna be a successful artist. So, palette is up, ready to go. Palette is clean, rags are ripped up, ready to go. Brushes are clean, ready to go. Potato water Thursday's been poured and ready to go. Everything's a go, so all we have to do now is paint. I've externally done everything. Now, the key to all of this at the end of it is when I'm done my 20 minutes worth of painting, clean your palette, put your brushes away, rip up some more rags, get another photo ready, set yourself up for tomorrow because you'll be uh, way better off going in the studio when you're all set up to paint than if you have to start all over again. So we're gonna do this as a routine over and over and over. Here's another thing. 20 minute paintings are studies, okay? They're not meant to be framed paintings. These aren't going to the gallery. These aren't, you're not gonna sell these at the next craft fair that you're going to. These are practice. This is getting on the field and chipping the ball away. This is going to the driving range and hitting the driving range. This is practice, practice, practice. I don't care who you are. You could be Matthew Tehachuk or whatever the heck his name was that played for the Calgary Flames, billion dollar hockey player. What do they do when they're not playing hockey? <laughs> They practice hockey. All these million dollar hockey players still practice in between. Practice, practice, practice. I'm telling you, man, I know it sounds repetitious, but it's gonna pay off in the end. Trust me, practice is the key.